Hello everybody. In this next video, I want to start showing you how you can work with Dremio external to the Dremio UI. And one of the ways you can do that is by connecting it in your Python notebooks. Now in this example, I'm using a library called Dremio Simple Query, which establishes an arrow flight connection to Dremio. And it actually works pretty simply. As you can see here, um, I basically pass in the URL to where my Dremio instance is running. I'm going to give it my username login information, which you can again, in production, you'd want to do this through environmental variables. Um, and then I can run this function to go get a token, to go get an auth token from Dremio. Here I'm saving uh, Dremio's arrow endpoint for arrow connections, okay? Because this URL is used for the REST API uh, access to log in, and this endpoint is used to establish the arrow connection. And with all that, now that I have the token and the arrow endpoint, I can then establish a Dremio connection and then I'm able to just send it SQL. And notice that this function is called two pandas. So essentially what it does, it takes the result of the query and returns you a pandas data frame. There's also a two polars function and a two duck DB function. So you can get the data returned to you as either a pandas data frame, a polars data frame, or a duck DB relation for you to do additional sort of um, work in, the, in your preferred sort of Python style. So now if I, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print the data frame that we've pulled. Okay, so this is basically querying that prepared or curated web view of the weather data set that we have with all the data sets already kind of all fixed. So if I hit here, if I hit play, and I run that data frame, okay, we see that it connected the Dremio and pulled the data down. And we can confirm that by taking a look at the print. Now, what I have here is that we're gonna use matplotlib and seaborn, okay, to create a visualization. So we're taking that data and we're setting up a chart. Now notice this code could be more complicated. Like if you take a look at uh, the code that might be in the repo, if you're following along with the clone down repo, um, you know, what can oftentimes happen is that you might have extra code to do a lot of, especially when you're talking about like CSV data, to change all the data types in your Python. So having to change all those text fields into floats and change the date field from, from text to, to a date. But because I did all that prep work in Dremio, my Python code is a lot simpler. I don't have to worry about doing all that data prep here. I can just get to building the visualization and get to the anal more of the analytics and insight discovery part of the journey. Okay, And that's where uh, Dremio becomes also really useful because, again, you can do a lot of the data prep much more simply from there, which saves you a lot of the more complicated tasks that you might have to do in your Python code. So now if I run this, and there we kind of generate a nice visual of temperature trends in New York City Central Park. Okay, and that is pretty cool. Okay, so just to show you that you can do this pretty easily in Python. Again, you should be able to do this pretty easily because all the libraries should already be pre-installed if you're using the, the notebook environment that came with the original setup for this series of videos. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool. I'll see you in the next one.